final leg on upgrading NAFTA to BTX. This is a process flow diagram of the reforming unit where NAFTA is met by hydrogen gas to be pressurized to 5 to 45 ATMs. This is to prevent coking and minimize the premature formation of ethane, propane, and butane. The pressurized NAFTA will go to a preheater where it's warmed significantly to be prepared to be vaporized at the first of three furnaces. There are three furnaces to control the temperature of 495 degrees Celsius to 525 degrees Celsius throughout the reaction. This is because the reaction is highly endothermic and this means that it absorbs heat or loses heat while the reaction takes place. The vaporized reactants flow through the first fixed bed reactor, which is where the majority of the reaction takes place, where hydrogen bonds are removed from the NAFTA forming aromatics. This causes the temperature to drop and the reaction to stop. To maintain the required reaction temperature and rate of reaction, the vapor is reheated in the second furnace before it flows through the second reactor. The temperature again drops across the second reactor and the vaporized steam must go through the third furnace before it goes through the third reactor. The hot reacting product from the third reactor is partially cooled by displacing the heat to the heat exchanger that preheats the naphtha and hydrogen to the first reaction. The BTX is then cooled and then sent to a gas separator where hydrogen is extracted from the BTX and is recycled back into the system in the hydro cracker and the desulfurization unit. The BTX then goes to a stabilizer where off gases such as ethane, methane, and butane is extracted from the system. The bottom feeds are now high octane reformant, which is used for premium gasoline blending if margins are high. But if margins are low, then the BTX is separated out so it can be sold as feedstock to the chemical industry.